New game. What am I going to start with? Griffin. I'm certainly getting faster and faster at playing this game, that's for sure. Bunch of stuff to loot back there, but I want to gather up all the enemies on this level first. Oh, hi. And blow them up. Oh, there's a secret. Well, that went well. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a very dangerous tactic, that's for sure. 18 health. Wonderful. Alright, let, oh god. Let's do it here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's a weak bomb, so I'm sure it's not going to kill them all. Not bad. Accuracy for the win. Well, I'm almost dead and almost dead. Ammo and I've used my explosive. So that's great. Alright, let's go back to where those chests were. I would shoot them, but I don't have enough ammo. What's the point? Where were the chests? I think they might have been back here. Oh, here they were. I mean, here they are. Alright, what did I get? Could make a super explosive, but I don't want to. Okay, I did have enough ammo. Just. Alright, let's make a super explosive now. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh! Just what I needed. Whoops. Hmm. It's like a nail bomb. Alright, I have read this before, right? Natural conditions, features extremely high temperatures. I think I have. Yeah, okay. Holy crap, two weapons? Damn. Shotgun first, of course. Shitty weapon last. Well, this one's almost out of ammo, so I guess that's kind of the shitty one. 
I really wish the, uh, the craftable stuff, the stuff that's just used for crafting and not a weapon or a usable, would just, like, automatically get sorted to the bottom, or, or just be part of, like, a separate menu or something. Because it gets all jumbled up with the rest of your stuff, which is kind of annoying, because there's no reason at all to have it near the top. There's, abs there's zero reason you'd ever want to select this. I mean, you press C, and it automatically brings up stuff you can craft. So you don't need to manually select each item. But anyway, it's not a big deal. Just a minor thing. Ow, oh, my nose itches. What do you know? Heals 50, and I need 50. Perfect. I'm really curious what this plate is used for. What the hell, let's make it. Can't use it yet. But I'm thinking maybe some piece of armor or something? That would be nice. Alright, we've got a crowd. I do have a small explosive that I could use. Ooh, secret. Let's gather up some more. Actually, let's get the hell out of here. I've got a decent amount of stuff. Let's make a big bomb. Alright, decent supply of weapons, decent supply of ammo, nice explosives, could use some health kits. Other than that, I'm doing pretty damn good. Oh shit. Oh wow. Oh my fucking god. Nail bomb time. Holy shit. Holy shit, there's more. Where did they come from? That did not do as much as I thought it would. Maybe I shouldn't have used it in such a small area. I'm not sure. Alright, let's get him into a ball. Oh, hi. Some more people joining the party. Okay. Jesus. Oh. But hey, at least I got some canned meat. Made it all worth it. Hey, what, wait, when did I have an SMG? When the hell did that happen? Okay. I hear you. What was that? Something just made it. Oh, there you are. Choose my one shot of the griffin. And I missed. Good job. And I missed. Good job. And I missed. Good job. Empty K. 
can. Oh, stimulant. Nah. Super explosive. Getting really lucky with these chests. Alright, I really want to figure out how to use the nail bomb properly. I think an open area is probably best. Yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to use it very much. I usually die before I can actually use it. I think I'm being too stingy with my explosives, honestly. Oh, great. I went right into a corner. Perfect. MG bullets, nice. Got three magazines for that thing. Soylent plankton based diet. Human food consumption was forever changed after the creation of soil and plankton. Superplankton is basically a mass of tiny genetically modified bugs and plants present in such variety that all nutrients possibly needed by human organisms can be harvested from the mass. Since superplankton could be literally turned into any food known to man, it became quickly the staple for working glass. Food made of real plants and animals became a luxury only to be enjoyed by few. Interesting. So you have the food of the working class, and then you have the high class food. That is actually really interesting. Of course, you're never really going to see that idea explored in this game, because that's not what it's about, but... I really like that idea. Ooh, teleporter location marked on map. I just pressed M to open the map. Doesn't work. Uh, there it is. Oh, it looks like I'm heading the right way. Uh, nope. Nope. This is not the right way. The six-legged battle mutants, the decision to stop producing elite ba elite battle animals and switch to cheap mutants was a very calculated move. In the political background, human mercenaries from China, Incorp China Incorporated were used by the most aggressive forces. This gave the defensive countries a strong need for even cheaper soldiers than those from CI. Thus, Militech decided to create the six-legged battle mutants. Wonderful! Come on, come on. Looks like you brought a face to a knife fight. Come on, squeaky glove animal. Two to one. I win. Choose three adhesive grenades. Sure, why not? Makes a crappy gun waste even more ammo. Although now I have tons of ammo for it. I'm actually doing really good on ammo. 14 shotgun shots. Uh, 90 shots, or 3 magazines for the SMG. 
26 grenades and nothing for the griffin, but still, that's actually very good. Test out the SMG. Don't get to use it much. Alright, very inaccurate. Probably better for a crowd than anything. Let's use that. <laughs> okay, I wonder if that'll actually kill enemies around it. Humidity complex. Oh, great. Holy crap, how did I get out of that? Please don't be a dead end, please don't be a- oh, fuck. Alright, I want to test out whether this actually will- uh, if the grenades will actually hurt the group. So I'm going to shoot this at someone soon. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck, I missed that. Oh, it did. Or maybe just they stuck to multiple people. I don't know. Let me try the nail bomb. I want to learn how to use this thing. So I'm going to be around a corner. That was actually quite effective. Looks like there's a seek right here. Oh, it's a disposable rocket launcher, which last time I used it completely blew. It didn't just blow up, it just blew. It sucked. The Six Legged Battle Mutants 4. The M1s, is that M1s? Yeah, the M1s get microchipped right after hatching. The microchips enable them to understand and comply to human voice commands from their designated masters. In addition to drug synthesizers that provide a relaxed state of mind for the mutants, the chips come equipped with suicide devices. The, suicides, the suicide self-circuit launches automatically if the chip observation protocols determine a self-originating danger to friendly actors. Well, it sure would be nice if they just exploded in front of me. I guess that's malfunctioning. Well, there's a teleporter location. Um, wait a minute, didn't I miss a box back here, or did I just grab it? I just, I think I just grabbed it, didn't I? Wait, there's something marked on the map here. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay, so boxes are marked on the map. That's what that little, like, mushroom symbol is. Apparently that's a box. Hmm. I expect a can gun. Oh, I just dropped it. That's what happened. So it's Q to drop? Q to drop. I thought maybe I just put down an explosive and I was about to die. Oh, great. Yeah, fuck you.
The six-legged battle mutants, too. The M1 battle mutant design was a remarkable economic in economical uh, achievement. They basically only needed plankton, water, and light to grow into fierce war creatures. Even a newborn mutant with the size of a cat had a military value due to its excellent battle protocols. Oh my god, this thing's weak. Alright, well let me explore down here, and if there are enemies present, I'm simply going to ignore them and run back to the teleporter. The Military Critters. Before modern battle mutants were designed from scratch to guarantee low cloning costs, Militech research was focused on modifying existing feral animal species to combat purposes. While native animals had a special spark, they were not optimized for cloning, resulting in high costs. Therefore, after our last truly successful war critter, Militech shifted its research focus to fully designed mutants. Okay. That's a lot of enemies, but I'm going to keep exploring. Nope, dead end. Specifically looking for chests. And also a dead end. Okay, fuck this. Goodbye. Alright, I can't even remember. Is this the... Alright, yeah, this is level 3. In other words, this is the level where I'm going to die. <laughs> okay. I thought he was dead, but then he killed himself. Robot Wars 2. The world has a number of poor communities formed of people who do not embrace the capitalist lifestyle. These communities usually lack the capital to even buy mercenaries from Chinese, or incorpor Chinese Incorporated and must fight for their freedom or well-being in person. Their self-made experimental battle bots are a laughing stock, and Greystar Incorporated issues even a mocking humor magazine entitled Self-Shot Bots. Where did you come from? Where the fuck did- oh god. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh shit, uh. Oh my god, I have six hit points left. Oh, I can't use the can gun, I'm gonna die. Uh. <sighs> I was gonna use a can gun, but it hurts yourself. I'm pretty sure it would kill me. I don't know how much damage it does exactly, but I think it's like 10, maybe? Maybe 10? Fuck. This game is so hard. <laughs> if I ever manage to beat it, it is going to be such an accomplishment, it's not even going to be funny. Hmm. One more. Pink Death. Sounds like a disease. Hello, squeaky glove am amoebas. It literally sounds like wet rubber gloves. I wonder if that's actually what they used to record it. It might be. It wouldn't surprise me. Foley artists use some weird stuff to make sounds. Oh, great.
Oh, there's a chest in there. Seriously. Well, hello there. You appear to be too big to fit inside. How you doing? Have you had a nice day, Amoeba? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're saying. What, what was that? Whatever you say. Oh, 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 no. Uh. Oh, God. All right, fuck this. Going out. <laughs> Going out with a bang. <laughs> Life is a temporary phenomenon. Okay, I said one more, but that one was so short. Let me clarify. Uh, let me change what I said. One more decent run. It has to be at least decent. That was not decent. All right, what is this? Griffin, again. Get out of my way, stupid tables. Or whatever you are. I ain't got no time for you. Okay. Well, that was quick. Unfortunately, I don't really have any equipment. Alright, well this is the second level, so I can gather up all the enemies and look for the void. Here's some void, although I think it might be a dead end. Nope, not quite. Teleporter location marked on map. Okay, I could run there, but what's the point? I'm not gonna have enough stuff to live. Yeah, I need to get more stuff first. Oh, great. Oh, great. Wonderful. That went great. And I even had my explosive selected, even though I didn't intend to. Oh, God. Out of all the places I chose, I chose that and that again. Oh. Like I said, one more decent run. Hunting rifle. Very long, John. Do you know what I'm thinking of right now? I'm thinking of the fact that I'm hungry and right after recording this I'm going to make some quesadillas. Cheddar cheese and hot sauce in them. Corn tortillas. Mmm. That sounds good. Alright, there's a secret though. Oh, shit. It's a secret there.
Okay, hold on. I really, really think they sound like the sound of rubber gloves, like, being rustled or twisted or something. Let me test that. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back. You can listen to me. I'm going to get some gloves. Okay, I procured gloves. Let's see if it actually sounds like it. And these are just like the standard yellow gloves you'd use to clean the bathroom or whatever. Hmm. Eh, it's not squeaky enough. Maybe if they were wet? Yeah, I don't know. Really does sound like gloves, though. Anyway. That has been Sound Effect Time with Marshall. Oh, oh, great! Yeah, fuck you. Okay, well, now that I'm almost dead. Where was that secret? There you are. There you are. Can gun. Guaranteed to give you a good time, and only partial blindness. Welp, looks like there's only one way to go. Oh, great. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Please don't be a dead end. My God. Please don't hit a dead end. Please do not hit a dead end. That's a dead end. Ooh, teleporter room. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Fuck, there's a chest. Forget it. Forget it. Too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Alright, is this, uh, is this level 3? I think it is. 
Oh no, this is level two. Hold on a second, I'm trying to look at my crafting menu. Jeez, there's so many of them. I swear, I just look like Justin Bieber. I'm not actually him. Stupid fanboys. Okay. Nail bomb, can gun, uh... Hold on, let... whoops. Let me test the can gun. I think maybe it's supposed to be used from a range to get a wide blast... Oh, hi. Wide blast, don't like that. Okay, confirmed. Can gun is awesome. You need to use it from, from far away to be effective. Because it spreads out further. Now I know. I suspected that, but now I know. Yeah, I even though the can gun hurts you a bit, I like it I definitely like it over the nail bomb. Because it's directed, so you can use it against a horde that's chasing you very easily, and also because of the fact that well, <laughs> it's directed so it doesn't hurt you, at least not as much as has been in the past. It hurts you a little bit, but not much. It's just way too finicky to use the nail bomb. Oh great. The lion zombie thing. Oh, it's another one. I think it's time to use the second can gun. Holy shit. Alright, I need to bring him somewhere else. Eh, there's something to grab here. Hold on, what is that? Teleport location marked on map. Okay. Over there. Looks like I'm heading the right way. Ah, shit. That didn't work. That did not work. Maybe I should say fuck it and just go to the teleporter. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. Fuck it. Alright, level 3, the level where I will definitely die very soon. M what does it say? Mono hardware? The nano hardware is the most advanced form of technology, being essentially a part of computer that keeps becoming physically better and modifying its structure as long as it is used. This has revolutionized the hardware industry, and has created the need to measure the age of individual computing systems, which often contain also a miniature AI that keeps learning as well. I really like the little, just the little bits of information that they present to the player. It's really nice, just like little hints into some of the stuff that has been, like some of the stuff that has led to what has gone horribly wrong. So it allows you to understand what is trying to kill you just a little bit more. It's nice. Just a little bit of detail, nothing big, but it's it's nice. You know, it kind of it kind of places them in the world, so they don't just feel like random. They're not just like random enemies, but there's actually a reason they're there, and it's because of you know this technology and that technology and this research and etc. So it's a nice bit of world building. Oh hi! How about you go kill yourself in the void? Well, one did. Oh fuck! Nope, not worth it. Not worth it. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Didn't work. Fuck, those refuse slows you down. <sighs> the only way I'm ever going to get to the next level, I have a feeling, is if I run there and get lucky and actually find it and not get backed into a corner. I have a can can... Oh, fucking hell. I have a can gun. A can gun. One. That's it. Oh, shit.
Oh my god. <laughs> Just before you die, you remember the smile of your love, and it makes you smile as well. This was a good day to die. Okay. Well, let's see what I managed to learn in the last about two hours. Um, I learned that the nail bomb kind of sucks because it's too finicky and is very likely to hurt you. I learned that the can gun is awesome as long as you make sure to fire it when you're far away from the enemy so it has a wider cone of attack. Is there anything else? There's got to be something else. That's all I can think of right now. So yeah, I learned those two things, which aren't very big, but it's something, I guess. And I managed to barely progress further in the game. I think I got a little bit further in level 3. So yeah, this is slow going. And I'm imagining the game is only going to get harder and harder, so it might... At this rate, I think it's going to take me infinity time to complete this game. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but I'm still enjoying myself. I'm just going to make sure I take breaks in between playing it, wait another day or two again, so that my brain doesn't turn to mush. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with more deaths.